Okay, a chi-squared distribution. Um, what what we've been talking about, hopefully you've been talking about confidence intervals uh, before you get to this point. Um, chi what a chi-squared distribution is, is now instead of wanting to uh, confidently predict your population mean, now we want to confidently predict the variation in our data. Um, whether the you know whether that's variance or standard deviation and so on the top formula here this is the formula used to um, from a sample of data whatever size of sample you choose um, this will tell you um, with whatever percentage confidence you want or whether it's 90 percent um, 80 you know 95 percent or 99 percent confidence what the variance of the entire population is when you select just some of the data, a sample of the data. And then this bottom equation, bottom formula, is the uh, standard deviation for the entire population with just a, a you know, handful of samples. And on the left here, this is just kind of what the, what the chi-squared distribution looks like and kind of what we're doing. You know, if you want, say, a 90 percent confidence interval we're looking for all the information here we want ninety percent of the of the of the information that falls within those two lines and, and you can do ninety five ninety nine you know, whatever you want to do so let's just uh, jump into an example so find the ninety percent confidence interval for variance and standard deviation for the price in dollars of an adult single day ski lift ticket this data below represents a selected sample of nationwide ski resorts and assume the variable is normally distributed. So, in other words, this is a, we're just going to assume this is a normal distribution. And uh, so we have, it cost, you know, we, we randomly selected ski resorts across the country. Uh, we picked out 10 of them. You know, N is 10. And we found out this is what they charged, okay? And so then you crunched the numbers and, uh, you know, possibly used your uh, graphing calculator to do that. Or, or maybe you got bored and you found X bar, which is the mean. And then for variance, you went ahead and did, um, found the average distance from the mean of all the data points which you know for variance and standard deviation so then you want 59 minus x bar squared plus 54 minus x bar squared dot 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 clear to the last one 48 minus x bar squared wherever your mean is divided by your um, number of distributions which is 10 in this case and so you did that, and then you you were you went through, and then you found the square root of it, and found s. And uh, so s squared. After you did all that work, you know you, you I'll let you do that. You can also just use your graphing calculator. That if you're to this point in statistics, you're probably okay with that, or your online calculator. But anyway, s squared looks like it is 28.2 so 28.2 yes and so once you do all that you get a variance and again this is variance for your sample and this is your standard deviation for your sample and you see so you, you could take the square root of that and get this the standard deviation of it. We don't really need it for this, so I'm just going to put square root of 28.2, whatever that is. And so with just these two pieces of information, and the fact that we want a 90% confidence interval of the, of the variance and the standard deviation, so what we have here then Okay, so again, what we have here is we've got 10% uh, um, of the data what is left over in the tails. So 
you know, here in this area and here over in this area, we'll say we've got 5% uh, over here and 5% over here. And so in the middle here, which is what we're looking for, so we're looking for this middle 90% of our standard deviation, and this is S and S squared. So um, what we'll do then is go ahead and start using the formula. So here's the formula for it. N minus 1, this first part here, N minus 1 is called your degrees of freedom. And so our degrees of freedom, since we're dealing with 10 samples, our degrees of freedom, df, is 10 minus 1, which is 9. And so if we set up the formula, instead of n minus 1, we'd have 9 times your variance, which I think I said was 28.2. Yes, it is 28.2 divided by um, your chi-squared on the uh, right side, I do believe, was the first one. Let's double check that. Chi, yep, chi-squared on the right side. So, okay, so we'll, we'll come back to this. We've got degrees of freedom. We've got this all ready to go, so we're we're looking for this chi squared on the right side, and then less than we'll come. We'll just come back to it. Sigma squared, or yep, our population now variance. So that we want to know the variance of our entire population, and then it'd be the same degrees of freedom times your twenty-eight point two all over chi squared for the left side. Okay, so we get out um, a textbook or you go online and find a chi-squared. I kind of like, I'm old school, I like the old, just find it in the back of the book. And so you find your degrees of freedom line first. So this is a chi-squared distribution and at the bottom here, I'll extend the page so you can kind of see, you know, here at the bottom it shows you what we're dealing with. It's, the, that tail area again. And so we we go in here and our degrees of freedom are 9 since we have a sample space of 10. So we're dealing with this row right here. And we need the left and the right side which each side has 5% to deal with. And so here's the right side which is 5% so this column and it lines up right here. And then the left side is 95%, this column, and it's right here, 3.325 and 16.919. So let's go and, oops, wrong way. So let's go ahead and plug those into our formula. So we've got uh, 9 times 28.2 divided by 16.919 from our table is less than sigma squared is less than 9 times 28.2 divided by 3.325 and now you can get your calculator out and you crunch the numbers and you find out that 15.0 is less than sigma squared is less than uh, 76.3 and so that's the variance and then all you do is take the square root of both of those numbers to find your standard deviation so three point so we know our population is standard deviation is between 3.87 and 8.73 so um, so we can conclude that we are 90% confident that the standard deviation, so we can conclude that we are 90% confident, and this is important to write this down. 
so it makes sense so you know these numbers are pretty abstract to most everybody else but uh, so you want to write this so that anybody can read it and go oh okay that that kind of makes sense with any reasonable amount of education for this type of stuff so hence uh, we can conclude that with a 90 percent confident we are 90 percent confident that the standard deviation kind of have it written down here so that I don't mess it up too bad. The standard deviation for the price of a single day lift ticket single day lift ticket of the population you know and in this case of all the ski resorts in the nation is between three dollars and eighty seven cents and eight dollars and 73 cents based on ah, based on a sample of 10 nationwide ski resorts so there you have it. There's a there's a confidence interval for a, a chi-square distribution. When we we're looking for um, the confidence or the interval or the we're looking to uh, be confident with the standard deviation or the variance, the distribution of the data. That is where uh, this is where we use the chi-square distribution. And so I hope this helps. Uh, hopefully I'll have time one of these days to put up more videos on this. Uh, maybe do a 95% or 99%. But for now, this hopefully will get you started. So best of luck. See you next time.